Hey, what's up, Camper Simo Eleven here, and welcome to my review of Total Drama: The Ridiculous Race, Episode Twenty Four, Last Tango in Buenos Aires. This episode was great, and it seems like they're going all out for the final few episodes of Total Drama: The Ridiculous Race. And really, any episode without the daters is relaxing. So we're down to the final four, and things should be pretty crazy from this point forward. So in the last episode, Kitty and Emma won. Um, Kitty, yeah, Kitty and Emma won. And today's challenge is in Argentina. Kitty and Emma get revenge on the ice dancers and put them at the back of the plane, so they're by the bathroom. And if being near a bathroom was such a problem, why not just sleep? I normally sleep my problems off, and a bad smell is, is it's an easy fix. Just go to sleep. You won't notice it then. Um, Devin is still struggling to confess to Carrie, and I like that he's having trouble saying I love you, because a lot of people these days just say it, you know, I love you. It's, it's not that hard to say it, but, you know, um, I like that he's struggling to say it to her, because that, that, um, that shows that he means it and everything, that shows that saying I love you isn't, um, that shows that saying I love you is a big deal to him. It's not like some small thing or anything like that. Uh, the challenge is to learn a tango dance and perform it. Shelly and Devin took dance lessons, so Devin and even myself thought this was a perfect time to confess to Carrie. Kitty and Emma danced together because Emma didn't have any boys asking her uh, for prom or anything like that, or homecoming. It was something like that. It's sad, but you know, you could have asked them. You could have asked a boy or anything like that. They don't have to come to you. Uh, it seems like some girls think that, you know, the guys have to come to them, but you know, it can go either way, people. The ice dancers finished the challenge on their first try because when you have ice dancing and you take away the ice, what do you have? Dancing and all that. They said that in the episode. Um, the cadets do something, but it definitely wasn't dancing. Devin tries to lead the dance but ends up hurting Carrie constantly. Kitty and Emma finish. The next part of the challenge involves riding a horse cha and chasing and capturing an emu and taking it to the chill zone. Jock puts vegetable oil all over the sister's emu, and I'm surprised they weren't slapped for a pen you know, I weren't, I'm surprised they weren't slapped with a penalty for that. Dawn has been on them for the last few episodes, but they don't get a penalty this time. Kitty is struggling to capture the emu, the emu, while Devin is still hurting Carrie via dance. He brings up Shelly again, which ignites a fire in Carrie, which helps them finish the dance. Jock's vegetable oil appears to be causing problems for him, too, which could be their, their penalty, I guess. MacArthur struggles to get her horse to do anything. Sanders, a.k.a. Master Horse Whisperer, gets the horse up with ease. And Kitty gets frustrated and chases her emu on foot, and they both slide down the mountain. Jock puts the oil in his hair and captures the emu. MacArthur captures the emu as well. Emma follows Kitty down the mountain, and Kitty appears to be taller than Emma. I didn't know that. Maybe it's just her heels, but like I think in a later episode, Kitty was still taller than her, and they didn't have shoes on. It would be cool if we got a scene of all the selfies that Kitty has taken throughout the show, when or if the sisters lose. The ice dancers and the cadets race for first, and Don was really getting into it, but the ice dancers finished first. Devin finally confesses to a mud-covered Carrie, and they share a kiss. They head straight for the chill zone, and Kitty jumps on the emu, and Emma captures both of them. This is another close race to the chill zone, but the best friends finish first, and Kitty accidentally knocks Devin off a mountain, possibly breaking many of the bones in his body. This show really, really hates Devin and loves to troll him, like, a lot. I think he got the most injuries this season. I don't know why the chill zone was even next to the side of a mountain, but I don't know. You would think that they would see the danger in that just in case someone overruns and falls off the cliff or someone gets pushed off the cliff, but I guess they never thought that would happen. Then we learn it's a non-elimination round. It's really close to the ending for this, but it would be great to have all the teams um, in the finale because the finale starts in the next episode. Whatever, I guess, Devin isn't able to continue in the competition. There's a rule that if anyone in the final four gets injured and can't continue, someone has to be chosen to take their place. So they choose the surfers, and this got me pretty hyped. 
But usually the team that comes back isn't the winner. So at this point, I hope the sisters win. Carrie and Devin seriously are acting like a couple already. Does it really work like that? You know, she was kissing on him and they kept telling each other that they loved each other. Um, it's just, as I said, the best, the best friends would be leaving after they got together. It was cool seeing Jeff and Brody outside of the competition, but it looks like they were just in Hawaii rather than a new location. Um, yeah, like the couples thing, it, it seems so quick, you know. I don't know how relationships work, but like if you're kissing on someone, you're telling them I love you, it, it would seem like you've been in a relationship for a while. I think that's moving too fast. Also, earlier in the video, I bit my tongue. I paused a little bit. I don't know if you noticed that. Anyways, that's it for me. Facebook and Twitter, um, or Facebook, Twitter, social media. Check the description. I'm Sermo11. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and peace out.